Now I could sit here and start this video off by telling you how great I am at speaking to women. I've never ever felt shy and awkward when I'm speaking to a girl, but that would be a massive fucking lie. I honestly think this is a universal feeling for us as men. Now yes, there's probably guys out there who are just naturally confident around women, who for some reason just don't get awkward and shy, but that's just not the reality for the majority of young men out there in this day and age. There's a reason you clicked on this video when you read the title. You probably get extremely shy and awkward when you're around a girl, especially around a girl that you find attractive. So so in this video, I'm going to give you three tips that I think will help you out massively when it comes to speaking to women, when it comes to overcoming that awkwardness that you feel around girls. So with that being said, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to go in with the first tip is to devalue women. And no, I don't mean that in a misogynistic way. I know that might sound bad at first, but what I mean by that is stop putting women on a pedestal. This first tip is going to have a lot to do with your mindset. I'm going to try and help you make that mindset shift. So bro, you need to stop seeing women as these things that hold such high value. And again, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Just see them as a normal fucking person, someone who's equal to you. And I'm going to give you an analogy that I think might help you out and might help you understand what I'm trying to say. So let's just imagine that you had three extremely attractive women in your bedroom. They were head over heels for you. They were really attracted to you. How difficult do you think it would then be to go outside, go to the gym, go to the supermarket and speak to another woman? Probably not that difficult. Why? Because your brain knows that you've got three other women at home waiting for you in your bed. Now this might sound silly bro and obviously this isn't the case but the point that I'm trying to make is that this shows how much of a difference it can make when you have an abundant mindset. When you switch up that mentality and realize that it's okay if when you speak to this fourth woman you get rejected or it goes to shit or you know it gets a little bit awkward because it really doesn't matter. You've already got three women. It no longer matters when you speak to this fourth girl because this fourth girl no longer holds that extremely high value and she no longer holds that value because you no longer have this one-itis mindset and the one-itis mindset is that there's only one girl that will ever be into you and it has to be the girl that you're with at the time or there has to be the girl that you're speaking to right now. But it doesn't. Essentially, bro, you have to have this take it or leave it mentality when it comes to speaking to women. If she likes you, yeah, cool. Let's see if we can move forward. Let's, you know, let's get to know each other. But if she doesn't like you, cool. The same mindset applies. There's no issues there. Let's move on with our lives. Let's look forward. Let's think about, you know, other women. Forget about that one girl. And again, this isn't the case and it might sound stupid, but it really gets the message across that shifting that mindset, bro, and having an abundant mindset instantly takes away that awkward and shy feeling that you get when you're around other women. I'm gonna try and make this video quick and simple for you, bro, so I'll move on to the second tip. And it kind of ties in with the first tip, bro. The second tip is for you to be outcome independent. Bro, your brain has convinced you that every girl must like you. Every interaction with a girl must be a good one. And for that reason, you get awkward. You get a little bit shy because you want to achieve a certain outcome. But bro, if you switch up that mentality and you become outcome independent, which means that you, again, you don't really care either way, it then gets a lot easier for you to speak to women. And bro, if you clicked on this video hoping that I would give you, you know, a script or things to say, you know, the right words in the right order, then you're going about this whole thing wrong because it really does not work like that. You know, I'm not a pickup artist. I'm not here to give you pickup lines. I'm really here to help you switch up the mentality and try and reprogram your mind to be way more comfortable when you're around women. Essentially, just going back to tip number two, when you can stop worrying about what's going to happen, when you can stop worrying about the outcome, that's when it starts to get easier for you to communicate with women. And bro, this doesn't just happen overnight. This happens when you gain experience because that's something else that you need to do, bro. You need to practice. It's like anything in life. If you want to get good at basketball, bro, you practice. So if you want to get better at talking to women, you want to overcome this awkward feeling that you get when you're communicating with women, then you need to practice. You need to do it more often. And when you do practice, bro, don't go into it thinking that, oh, this needs to be a good outcome. You know, I must walk away from this girl and get her phone number and she must like me. No, forget about that. Go up to the girl, talk to her. Just have a normal conversation like you would with any other human being and forget about getting her number. Forget about, you know, achieving a certain outcome. Forget about trying to get her on a date. Just talk to her and put the points on the board. Just practice actually communicating with a woman. And you might be sat there thinking like, you know, I don't need to do this. That sounds autistic as fuck. I don't need to 
to go that deep into it. But if you want to get better talking to women, bro, then yeah, you, that's what you have to do. It's about experience. The more you experience talking to women and the more positive interactions that you have with women, the better you become around women. It's really not rocket science. Now the third tip, the last tip that I can give you that I think will help you out massively when it comes to overcoming your awkward feelings around women is to have a purpose. Now hear me out, bro, you need a purpose, you need a mission, you need a goal in life to have something else to focus on, to have somewhere else that you can place your attention. When you take all of that focus away from women and you put it into something like your purpose, like your goals, like your aspirations, like building a better physique, making more money, striving to level up in life, then bro, you just automatically become better around women. And this doesn't mean you ignore women. This doesn't mean that you forget about women completely. It just means that you stop making women your priority. Because again, if you make women your priority, all of a sudden you have them on this pedestal. And for that reason, you feel awkward every time you come into contact with women. I hope you can really grasp what I'm trying to say and I hope you can really understand. And I hope this really helps you change your mindset a little bit because bro, it's something that helps me massively. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't an incel. I've had girlfriends, I've had women in my life, but it wasn't always smooth sailing. There was definitely times where I felt fucking awkward as fuck and I was shy as fuck. Like I said, I think it happens to the best of us. It's just deeply ingrained into who we are as men, but that doesn't mean that you can't overcome it. And that doesn't mean that you can't turn yourself into somebody who is way more confident when speaking to women. As long as you do the work, as long as you work on yourself, as long as you you know, do the things that I've said in this video, then yeah, you can definitely overcome these shy and awkward feelings that you get around women. I'm gonna leave that one there, bro. I hope it helped you out. I hope you can take something away from this video. I hope you can kind of think about things differently when it comes to women. And I hope you can overcome those shy and awkward feelings that you get when you come into contact with girls. If you're new to this channel, bro, scroll down right now and click subscribe. Click on this video right here to help you on your self-improvement journey. Like the video, drop a comment, share it, help me out with the algorithm. I'm making it my mission to help turn boys into men.